trying out some subscription boxes in our homeschool this year. So today let's talk about I'm the Chef Too. Hi, my name is Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. On my channel, we talk about all things homeschool. I do have a fifth grade daughter and we are really enjoying this ride. So if you are not yet subscribed, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. Um, as I mentioned, we have been trying out some subscription boxes in our homeschool this year. I have uh, made a video for a couple of them, which I will include down below in the description box. So um, feel free to check those out as well. And today I want to talk about... I'm the chef too. My daughter does really enjoy cooking. So she likes science, she likes cooking, and um, both of those are included in I'm the chef too. So today let's show you some of the footage that I have recorded of her enjoying um, two of the different I'm the chef too boxes. So we got two things in the mail, two subscription boxes. They are the I'm the Chef 2. We got frozen s'mores and galaxy donuts. Which one do you want to do galaxy first? Galaxy donuts. Galaxy donuts, okay. okay. So, do I open it? Yep, go ahead and open it. <gasps> Whoa! What is in there? What is it? So, there's like these color things. <laughs> it says what's included and stuff. Oh, okay. In it. And then, whoa, we get these. Wait a second. We get these <laughs> mini donut things that we can make our donuts with. Okay, we're going to make the donuts. And then this is like how you make it. Oh, so we got the instructions, okay. Yeah, so there's all kinds of rubber bands, oh. needles, I don't know what any of this stuff is for, powdered sugar. Ooh, I like this. What's this? Oh, it looks like you can make like constellations with it. Give me one second and let's clean this out. So, I'm pretty sure what you need to do, <laughs> there we go, is you take this and you set it on top, then you can take, do you mind if I open these? Well, let's read the instructions first. So I what think do you... you get to, like, poke, um, like, these in there, and then, um, whenever you slide them off, yeah. it will have... The constellations? All right, well, we'll see what we can do. Okay. We open up the packet and read more about it. We figured out that I was actually super close. So you took the cork board and then you glued this paper onto it. And then I'm going to open up these little pins. Are you ready to make some donuts? Some yeah. galaxy donuts. Yeah, so we already heated up a tablespoon of butter. Okay. So this says, pour one cup pancake mix into your bowl. Yeah. So is that one cup? Does it say one cup on there? Yeah. So it will one tell cup. you the measurements on the packet that it came with. Okay. You can probably just, those are, scissors aren't very good. You can probably just rip it where they have the little thing. Make sure it's over the bowl. So you... There we go. Okay. So let's pour it in. Okay, yep. Pour so pour the whole cup into, pour one cup pancake mix into your bowl. There we go. Okay. Okay, add two teaspoons of granulated sugar and mix. Did they send two teaspoons of granulated sugar? Um, yes they did. Okay, it says two teaspoons on there. Two, yep. Two TSPs. Okay. Two That's teaspoons. TBS yeah. would be tablespoons. TSPs, teaspoons. Okay. All of it? Yep. Two teaspoons. And it says mix. So you should have a... Yeah, do you have your spoon? Yep. Okay. Mix it up, girl. Okay. Measure one-fourth of a cup of milk and mix well. So is that your one-fourth cup? Yep. And okay. Okay, so take your cooking spray and lightly spray your donut pan. Okay. So they sent us the donut pan, okay? Yeah. It looks like this is only going to make like two donuts. Okay, so lightly spray your donut pan. That about half. It says do it halfway. 
Yeah, that's about half, and then I'm pretty sure I got it like pretty fat, flat. Okay. All right, so then we have a little bit more batter. It looks like we probably have two more donuts, so let's do this one first, and then we can do another one, okay? Okay. okay. I'm going to get me a hot pot so I can pull it out of the tray. Okay. All right. So what did you say this was set at? 350? Um, yeah, 350. Okay, be careful putting it in. Little tray, right? Yep. Okay. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Do you want some help? Yes, please. Okay, here. This is so flimsy, it's like super hard to do. Okay. Don't Thank you me. for asking for help. Be careful. There you go. All right, can you push that back in? All right. Now we need to set the timer for seven minutes, please. Thank you. You're welcome. So I have made five donuts and we're ready to make the icing. So I have three fourths cup of powdered sugar right here. It is time to make our icing turn like galaxy. So now, you're going to take one of your donuts, here's, mm -hmm. here's a donut, and flip it over, dunk. yep, just dunk it, and then you're going to set it on here for it to dry. Okay? Oh, that looks cool. Are they good? Amazing. Do you need milk? Yeah. <laughs> Today we are making frozen s'mores. What's the name of our box? So I am the chef too. Okay, well, let's see what's inside of it. So we have a little packet. It tells you what is included and what you need. So we need melted butter, heavy okay. cream, sweet condensed milk, yellow food coloring, wax paper, and a toothpick. Okay. And then it gives you like a little how to make it. Your directions, okay. And then um, it gives you like a helpful tip, all kinds of different things about their website. Okay. And then... That's probably what, that, I bet this tells us what that is. So let's see. This. Oh, here it is. This tells us. Okay, so this is what we get everything we in get here. S'mores, graham crackers, um, baby s'mores, mm -hmm. glue, um, starch, liquid starch, okay. um, vanilla syrup. Excellent. These look like little sprinkles and toothpicks. Okay, so we'll have to find out what those are. And then if therm... Thermochromatic pigment. Hmm, we'll, we'll have... have to find out what that is. Yeah, we'll have to find and out what that is. And a little baking sheet. And a little baking sheet. Alrighty, well let's get started. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so let's put it in our freezer. Hey, Ellie, um, this uh, says that we have to put, we have to bake marshmallows in just a little bit. So I went ahead and turned the oven on so that it would be preheating to 350. Okay. Okay, so next thing in directions. In a microwave safe bowl, heat up your large bag of chocolate wafers. Do we have a large bag of chocolate wafers? Um, oh, okay. Okay, open that and see what that is. This must be our large bag of chocolate wafers. I hope so. <laughs> there's more in here. Oh, there's a small bag and a large bag? Okay. So do I want to preheat the small or the it large? It says the large bag. Okay, it says, in a microwave safe bowl, heat up your large bag of chocolate wafers. This one looks like the large bag. Which one's large? Which one's large? There you go. Okay. Until they are nice and smooth. So put, you're going to pour those into... Okay. Alright, and then you're going to put those in the microwave... 
Well, it just says heat them up until they're nice and smooth. So let's start with 30 <coughs> seconds. Okay. Do you have something to stir them with for them to be nice and smooth? I need to get in the one. Okay. Okay, so I got it. Okay, see, try to get it as even as possible. All right, so did you get your uh, chocolate nice yeah. and smooth? Okay, so you want to take your big marshmallows and you're going to dip them in there to get a Ooh. yeah to get to get a top to it. And then if you want to, you can take this toothpick and make a little face on it. Ooh, I all right, and then you so, can. Do I put it, um, marsh, like chocolate up or chocolate down? You want it chocolate down, or no, sorry, chocolate up, on the aluminum foil so that it can dry. Right, like just like that, exactly. And then let's see. It's good. Amazing. Amazing. All the right. Chocolate. No. It got really frozen though. <laughs> the chocolate? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Also, if you have subscription boxes that you are really enjoying in your homeschool, please let me know because as I mentioned, we are trying out some a variety of them this year. So I hope that you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.